Looking for the light. This man is sitting here. <laughs> Maybe wondering what that man is doing. <laughs> One of them's in our band. <laughs> uh, now you're probably looking at this box on, the, on stage and thinking, oh, they left the box of t-shirts on stage when they were setting up. But no, we were, we were, <laughs> we were, um, uh, Actually, leaving this here for this man, Leo, Leo McKinnon. He comes from England. <laughs> you guys, you know the musical Hamilton? That's the guys we were fighting against. <laughs> <laughs> but if it didn't happen, you'd have no musical. <laughs> um, but the other thing that that Liam has in common with the musical of Hamilton is he too is, like Lin-Manuel Miranda, of Latin American descent. Hence his name, McKinnon. <laughs> and so he plays Latin percussion. This box is actually called the cajon, which I understand is Spanish for nutsack. How do you pronounce nutsack in, in the early English accent? Nutsack? No, that's if you're Northern, you know right? Northern? What would you say in your Bristolian or your your Cotswoldian accent? Nutsack? <laughs> Boring. What, what am I paying you for? <laughs> I can say nutsack. Let's <laughs> grab all these guitars. One, though. No, I, I think it's going to go with Carly for me. Yeah, yeah. The use of the deuce <laughs> will be induced. Let's set the deuce loose. Mm -hmm. Yes. Soon the deuce will be loose. <laughs> but, uh, I, always think, I, I look at these guitars and I think about one time when I was at the, uh, the Brannick Ladies played at the Roseland Ballroom, which no longer exists um, in New York City. And, uh, we played there and we finished our set and it was late at night and went around the corner to the Carnegie Deli. Uh, and so it was probably like three in the morning and they had one of those rotating, well they don't exist either anymore, but when they existed they had one of those rotating cake racks, those displays with all the different cheesecakes and things in it. And as I was sitting there, and they have long, long tables, and as I was sitting there, um, uh, Liza Minnelli, um, along with an entourage of flamboyant young men um, <laughs> walked into the Carnegie Deli. I hope I didn't offend you with my glass in the The abortion stuff was fine, but don't mess with my <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> she has them take all of the cakes out of the rotating cake rack, because I guess you can't see them properly there, lay them out across the table, and she does this. Can't choose, they all look so nice. <laughs> that one, and that one, and that one! <laughs> it was like the most Liza Minnelli moment anybody could ever care, care to ever experience, and it was like four of us got to see this thing. It was amazing. And so when I look at my two guitars, every time I think, I'll take that one, and that one, and that one. Imagine if I'd said that about those children. <laughs> so this is how the whole world ends. 
Wow, mankind, the last repentance for self-appointed governments that make no sense and has been a longer Don't you think he's got the different cancer? 